Can he claw back the damage he's done with putting on the weight and whatever's happened in his life? Can he get that back? I don't know. It's very hard when you've been doing it for all them years and think, here we go again. It's sometimes hard to get motivated. I lost weight in the gym. In sparring, I felt brand new. And then the minute the bell went on fight night, I went, this ain't here no more. Tyson's still relatively young in heavyweight terms, so hopefully it won't be for Tyson what it was for me. But sometimes you don't know whether it's gone until you get in there. Maybe have a warm up to shed a bit of ring rust, but Tyson's got huge self belief. And if he's going to lose seven stone, he's got to have an, op an opponent in front of him to motivate him. It was only a few weeks ago he was in my gym. Even though he's still carrying a bit of excess, he looks sensational. Blister in hand speed. You're better when you look in someone's eyes and know they're throwing every punch with you, which is obviously what Tyson did with Peter. Tyson will be alright, but it's just a shame family-wise when they've had so much success together that it has to end. When you've got self-belief like Tyson has, it's very hard to beat a man like that. To have a Mancunian heavyweight champion of the world is absolutely brilliant. Those are the words of Ricky Hatton. Obviously talking about Tyson Fury. And the difficulty that Tyson Fury may face in terms of coming back from a long layoff and piling on all the pounds. And if anybody knows about the effects that fluctuating in weight can have on you as a boxer, then it's Ricky Hatton. Because he used to blow up a crazy amount in between fights. And as you heard him say there in the quote, it affects you. And this has always been my fear when it comes to Tyson Fury. Because all the fighters who I've seen over the years following this sport. Who have blown up a massive amount in between fights. Have had that come back to haunt them. It's backfired on them. And those guys haven't had particularly long careers. There, there are some exceptions. James Tony is an exception. You could even say Roberto Duran is an exception. But for the most part, you get guys like Riddick Bow. You know, you get guys like Ricky Hatton, etc., etc. When they blow up in weight, they lose the weight, they come back down, but it's just not there anymore. It really affects them badly. I hope that with Tyson Fury, he's one of the exceptions rather than the rule because I think the heavyweight division misses him whether you like him as a character or not that's not what I'm talking about here I'm talking about in terms of him as a fighter stylistically what he brings to the table is something different than what everyone else in the heavyweight division has at the moment it's something different than what Joshua brings to the table or Wilder brings to the table or Joseph Parker brings to the table he's very talented Tyson Fury he's the slickest out of all the top heavyweights if you still class him as a top heavyweight so yeah those are the words of Ricky Hatton that's what he thinks and me personally I just hope Tyson Fury gets back in the ring and I hope he can regain the form that saw him beat Vladimir Klitschko he's still young but again Riddick Bow was young when he left the game I know there is differences between Riddick Bow and Tyson Fury Tyson Fury hasn't had the wars in his career that Riddick Bow had by the time he was in his late 20s Riddick Bow had had those brutal wars with Vander Holyfield and he'd had those brutal fights with Andrew Galotta so those really took a lot out of Riddick Bow Tyson Fury is a lot fresher but at the same time Tyson Fury has piled on even more weight than Riddick Bow piled on Riddick Bow wasn't a guy who was out there drinking and taking recreational substances Riddick Bow was just eating, but he wasn't, you know, out there living the nightlife and whatever like Tyson Fury has been. And Riddick Bow put on a lot of weight, but nowhere near as much weight as Tyson Fury has put on. So we'll have to see how it goes. But let me know what you think about what Ricky Hatton has said here. Drop your comments in the comment section below. It's Hatman, I'm out.